Kumusta ka, Matverse? This is Sedi, and welcome to Sedi's Matverse. So for today's video, I'll be tackling about cyclic quadrilaterals. Without further ado, let's get started. Cyclic quadrilaterals. They are indeed an essential part of Olympia geometry, but what sets them apart from other quadrilaterals? Now, in this video, I will tackle properties of cyclic quadrilaterals as well as the simple version of the well-known Ptolemy's theorem. So, let's go and discuss them one by one. So, consider a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D. As you can see, its vertices are on the circle. So, for the first property, the opposite angles, the diagonally opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral sum up to 180. Thus, we have angle A plus angle C equals 180 degrees. We also have angle B plus angle D equals 180 degrees. So that's just the first part. For the second part, let us draw the diagonals AC and BD. So, for the second property, of cyclic quadrilaterals, angles of a cyclic quadrilateral that subtend the same arc are equal. For instance, from this arc BC, we can see that angles BAC and BDC subtend the same arc BC. This implies that angle BAC is equal to angle BDC which is in this statement. Next, let us consider ang angles ACD and ABD, which subtend the same arc AB. So we can imply that angle ABD equals angle ACD. You can find two more equalities from arcs AB and CD. Can you find those? And finally, for the last property. This theorem is well known because it involves distances. This is known as the Ptolemy's theorem. So, in Ptolemy's theorem, given this cyclic quadrilateral, given this cyclic quadrilateral, okay, the product of the lengths of the two diagonals, which are AC and BD, is equal to the sum of the products of opposite sides. So, the two opposite sides here are AB and CD. So, the product of these two. And the two opposite sides here are BC and AD. C and AD. So, here is the definition, the simple definition rather, of Ptolemy's theorem. So, let us apply these three properties on this some problems. Now, let us tackle some problems that are related to cyclic quadrilaterals. So, given a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD, the measure of angle A is 79 degrees. What is the measure of angle C? So, this is just direct substitution. 
alam natin na dun sa Formula 1 na sinabi ko kanina, or Property 1 rather, na diagonally opposite angles sum up to 180 degrees. So, we have angle A ay 79 degrees plus angle C equals 180 degrees. So, lipat lang, angle C equals 180 minus 79 equals 101 degrees. So, on the same cyclic quadrilateral ABCD, we have angle B equals 3x minus 5 degrees and angle D equals 7x plus 15 degrees. What is, so ang kailangan natin ay value ni x at ano yung angles B and D. So, alam naman natin na ang sum nila is 180 degrees. So, ipapag-sum na lang natin siya. 3x minus 5, yung B, plus yung angle din natin ay 7x plus 15. So, equate natin sa 180 degrees. Then, we have 3x plus 7x, 10x. Negative 5 plus 15, 10. Equals 180. Move natin tong 10. So, we have 10x equals 180 minus 10. 10x equals 170. Then, x equals 70. Okay. If you are solving for x na dun sa angles, wala siyang degrees. Just to be clear. So, x equals 17 lang. Pero, kapag sinubstitute mo na siya dun sa b and d, magkakaroon na siya ng degrees. So, substituting for b, we have 3 multiplied by 17 minus 5 equals 51 minus 5 equals 46 degrees. Meanwhile, for angle D, so angle B ito, sorry. Angle D, we have 7 multiplied by 17 plus 15 equals 119 plus 15 equals 134 degrees. Now, let us have another problem. And this time, we will discuss Ptolemy's Theorem. So, quadrilateral CEDI has CE equals 7, ED equals 10, DI equals 8, and IC equals 7. It is known that the measure of CD is 9. And EI is the objective. So, what is the measure of the line EI given that the quadrilateral CEDI is cyclic? So, here comes the application of Ptolemy's theorem. Okay. We have the opposite sides CE and DI which have measures 7 and 8 respectively. We will add this product to the product of CI and ED's length, which is 7 and 10. Then, we have one of the diagonals, which is CD, whose measure is 9. Then, we need to find EI, which is the other diagonal. We'll get its product. Then, we we will solve for EI. 56 plus 70 equals 9 EI. Then, 56 plus 70 is 126 equals 9 EI. 
we will divide both sides by 9. So we have 126 over 9 equals EI. And as we can see, we can simplify this term further. So we have 14 equals EI. Now, we now have the length of the other diagonal, 14. Here's another problem. So, consider the cyclic quadrilateral, RAIL. It is known that angle IAL equals 2x plus 7 degrees. And angle IRL is 6x minus 33 degrees in measure. Here are the questions. What is the measure of angle IAL, which is this one, and the measure of arc IL? Okay. So first, we know from the second property of cyclic quadrilaterals that angles that subtend the same arc are equal. This implies that angle IAL and angle IRL are equal. So, we will simply equate these two variables. 2x plus 7 equals 6x minus 33. Then, let's transpose the variables and constants. So, we have 7 plus 33 equals 6x minus 2x. 7 plus 33 is 40 and 6x minus 2x is 4x. This gives us x equals 10, no degrees, just like what I have said earlier. Then, we will now substitute it to the measure of angle IAL, which is 2x plus 7 degrees. We have 2 multiplied by 10 plus 7 equals 27 degrees. Now, we already have the measure of angle IAL, the inscribed angle measuring 27 degrees. But to find the measure of the arc IL, we need to know another formula. The measure of an arc is twice the measure of the inscribed angle that it subtends. This means that we need to multiply 27 degrees by 2. So the measure of arc IL is 2 times 27 equals 54 degrees. So the answer to this problem is 27 degrees. Well, for this, we have 54 degrees. So the trivia for today's video, there are only four common quadrilaterals that can be cyclic. They are square, rectangle, isosceles trapezoid, and kite. So that is it for today's video, mga kamatlers. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned at least one thing from me. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribing to our official YouTube channel, Sedis Matters. Also, you can follow our Facebook and Twitter pages whose links are in the description below. Also, big shoutouts to Mr. Jimbo Bernardo, Jeremiah Daniel Vagalario, and the champion, Daryl Ko, for winning the first Sapphire Quiz last April 8th. So, that's it for today, guys. See you next time. Remember, mathematics is incomplete without you.